Hello, everybody. I'm Larry Ridley, and this is the NFL on EA Sports. Both defenses will have to be on the watch for a pair of tight ends looking to find seams in the secondary. It's the Bears going up against the Lions. For the call, let's send you out to the broadcast booth where we'll join our commentators, Brandon Guyton and Charles Davis. All right, Larry, first open in 2002. There's a look inside Ford Field here in downtown Detroit. Both teams emerging from the Ford Field tunnels just a short time ago. And, of course, the loudest cheers were reserved for the hometown Lions. They're set to go as they will match up with the Chicago Bears. Hello again, everybody. I'm Brandon Gaughan here in the booth with, as always, Charles Davis. Charles, a lot of times in the open, we focus on quarterbacks, running backs. What about the tight ends in this one? Well, I think LR identified it really well because the tight ends are matchup nightmares nowadays. Who are you going to cover them with? Because really, they are pumped up wide receivers who can flat out run and use their body to create bigger plays. Cover them with a linebacker, cover them with a defensive back. Either way, they feel like they have the advantage. Fielded about a yard deep. And he'll make it across the 20 as his guys will set up shop at the 23-yard line. The Lions got a tick above 500 last week with a win over Tampa Bay, and Matthew Stafford led them to that victory despite an injured hand during the week. He was limited in practice, still threw for 381 and a touchdown. Yeah, they stopped a two-game losing streak, kept their playoff hopes alive. How about late in the fourth quarter? Led the 49-yard drive for the big-time points to get it done for the Detroit Lions. Matthew Stafford's career symbolized by that drive, 32nd game-winning drive, fourth time he's done it this season. Injured hand, he's tough mentally and physically. They go play action here on first down. And they didn't wait long to take a shot there, that's for sure, but it falls incomplete. And it's second down. Amir Abdullah, the intended target. And that'll bring up second down. And we look now at the Lions offense. One way I really judge a player's value is when opponents know what your strengths are, yet they still can't take that away. That tells me you're a heck of a player. And for Theo Riddick, everyone knows about his ability to catch the ball out of the backfield, yet he's still the primary target for Matthew Stafford on just about any passing situation. Now here's the first carry for Amir Abdullah. Pretty nice move, but not a ton of space there. They stop him shy of the 25. Only a yard of the pickup there, so it leaves him needing a conversion here on third and a tough nine. And this defensive line will be looking to control the point of attack. And that's what they've done throughout this season. This is a terrific unit. They play together very, very well, and they don't permit big plays to happen. So trouble already here on their opening drive. This is third and nine. From the gun, here's Stafford. Now he'll let it go deep. Over. He's got a man complete. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. A big third down conversion with a gain of 28. Great patience in the pocket. Of course, it's easy to be patient when the protection's good, and it was. Yeah, you've got to pat those guys on the helmet and say thanks because they gave him plenty of time to stay back there, survey the field, go through the reads that he wanted to, and deliver the ball accurately. That was really well executed. First down and 10 now for the offensive group. to throw Stafford and he fires one that's intercepted picked off here the 32 and to the 40 yard line that's where the return stops certainly not how they envisioned ending their opening drive here in the first quarter too many ones in this play first quarter first drive first interception thrown and that last one that hurts
Now the Bears offense ready to take over again. carry number one for Jordan Howard and he'll be taken down but not before he gets into enemy territory a good gain of 14 there and it moves the chains speaking of the NFL sophomore Jordan Howard went over a thousand yards last week Charles against the Bengals something he also did last year as a rookie so no sophomore slump no second year jinx nope. none of that has occurred with Jordan Howard and let's face it he's the focal point of that offense everybody loads up to try and stop him but coupled with a pretty decent offensive line, he had 147 yards on 23 carries, as you mentioned, over 1,000 yards, back-to-back -back seasons, his first two in the NFL. Oh, he's got a little daylight. And he'll be brought down, it looks like, right at the 40. Seven yards on the play, and that'll bring up second down. Trubisky to throw on second. And he's just going to get rid of this thing. To no one here, he throws it away. And now it's third. What's the old adage? Be quick, but don't hurry. Well, that went right out the window there. He was hurried, harassed. <laughs> that ball had to be getting rid of. Otherwise, he was going to get sacked. A good chance. This is four down territory if they're unable to convert. But right now looking at a third and three. From the shotgun is Trubisky, and that is incomplete. As my dad used to tell me all the time, when you're going ready to play a big-time game, especially when you have one going into a dome setting, better strap it up tight because that crowd can really affect things. Especially on third downs like the one we just saw there with the incompletion. Here's Pat O'Donnell to punt in his fourth year from Miami, as he should be able to pin him back deep here with his first punt. On fourth down, Burton. And this is incomplete. A huge gamble, and it does not pay off. They fake the punt. It doesn't work out. It's such a risky play there to fake it. You're either the hero or the goat. Here, they're going to be the goat. Unfortunate, too, because you know they thought they had something there. They don't call it just to call it. They don't just say, oh, what the heck, let's go ahead and fake it here. They feel like they've got something on. They've got the defense in the right spot. Just unsuccessful in that opportunity. The Lions offense, they get ready to head back onto the field. That opening drive ended with the INT. It didn't lead to points, but still not the way they were hoping to begin the game. But how about going and telling your defense, thank you, a huge thank you. You said it didn't lead to points, stalled off that drive. Now they've got a chance to redeem themselves and maybe reward their defense a little bit by putting some points on the board on this one. And they begin the drive with Abdullah. And he'll be taken down just shy of midfield. A nice run there, nine yards, and it'll be second down. If these kinds of lanes are available, you have to feel like he's going to have a pretty big game on the ground. Yeah, you can tell early on he's got a little burst in his step, and that's a big pickup right there on first down. Second down following the run. Again, it's Abdullah. <laughs> They get six on the pickup there as the drive will continue. I know it's a cliche, and coaches always talk about it's a team game. We need all 11 to win. But let's face it, Detroit really needs Amir Abdullah to have runs like that all season long. Missed a lot of time with injuries, especially recently. Now, Theo Riddick wound up leading the Lions in rushing last year by just 357 yards. So 
It'll be first down here after the run. Now a play fake here on first down. His throw incomplete. Golden Tate, his intended receiver. And it's second down. When you see passes knocked down by those guys I call the frustrated fullbacks, the linebackers, you know that in their zone coverage, they were able to drop, see the ball thrown, and react to it very quickly. So second and 10 here. to throw again. Stafford. And the hit jarred it loose. It's incomplete. They'll put a check mark in the box where the defense coordinator was saying, how well can we stay with these receivers if we're in man coverage? Because he just did it on that one. Force the incompletion. That allowed him to get bolder with his pass rush, won't it? Absolutely. Freeze up your guys elsewhere. Throwing on third down, Stafford. He hits Riddick underneath. They'll give him a yard on the play, and it'll be fourth down. Can you do any more work or make it more dramatic for not much gain than what we just saw there? Did you see how his toes got down? Tip-tap, tip-tap, got him down. But what did he get out of it? He sold the sizzle. He just had no stake. <laughs> I mean, was it one yard? Yeah, you, plays like that, you at least expect a first down there, just one yard. In his fifth year from Appalachian State, it's Sam Martin on to punt as he's on to punt for the first time tonight. This is going to carry well into the end zone for a touchback. Onto the field now come the Bears. Second and two. First play of the drive. Let's give credit all around. Excellent blocking, but a guy carrying the ball. He was the finisher. A really nice run. Give him three yards and a fresh set of downs. Second and two is prime time for a little bit of a gamble, isn't it? Open up the playbook. Go play action. Toss that bad boy deep. But in this situation, go ahead and give it to your back. Let him pick up a first down. Keep the sticks moving. And a new set of downs here after picking up the first on the ground. Here's Trubisky. And some room to maneuver. A good pick up there, a 22. as we hit the midway point of this first quarter. Let's go. Blue Blue 
They run play action for Howard. Now Trubisky. Toward the sideline, and look at that catch. Dragging the toes, and that's going to be a first down. Well done. They get 10 more there, and I believe that'll be enough for another first down. It will. That's a matchup. Maybe they go back to their outer third of the field as this game continues. Yeah, I think back to my high school coach, John Ford, he used to say when we got big plays early in a game or good plays, he'd always say, follow it away, lad. Follow it away because he'd want to come back to it later in a key situation. They may come back to this one a little more often than that. Didn't he say laddie or did he say lad? Yeah, it just depended on what he was feeling at the okay. moment. Okay, I thought, I thought that was the guy you told me about that used to say laddie a lot. Laddie? When you heard laddie, he was usually in a pretty good mood. Lad? Yeah. And his throw is incomplete. And that drop will cause a little bit of angst for the play caller because you know they've worked all week game planning and flexing the tight end out and making him a matchup issue for the defense. They have what they wanted, and he drops the ball. Man, just couldn't hang on to the slam. And on second and ten now. Trubisky will throw. They'll set up the screen to Howard. And he works it to the 30-yard line here, right at the 30. They get seven there on the screen. It'll set up a third down. For a second there, I thought that might break big. Screen pass. Looked like it was coming together. Looked like there was an opening. Still ended up with a solid game. And the Lions going with an extra DB here on third down. Looking to throw again, Trubisky. Inman able to bring it in. And he takes it down to the 13 and picks up the first. 17 yards is the pick up there for number 17. for the change of pace back. The rookie, Tariq Cohen. And he's going to get about four down inside the 10 to the 9. When you find that kind of yardage, you couldn't be more confident as a ball carrier. And guess what? You're going to go back and tell your offensive coordinator, I'd like to keep carrying it, thank you. Second down, Trubisky looking middle, and it's incomplete. He was looking for Zach Miller as tight end there, and now it's third down. I'm going to need some help with this one. How did he miss it? Wide open in the end zone. He's not hurried. He's not hit. And somehow, incomplete? Yeah. What happened? During film study, that's one where he's just going to shake his head, not be able to believe it. Six points go by the wayside on that one. On third down, Trubisky. He's going to dump that off to his running back, Cohen. And down inside the 10 here before he's out of bounds right around the 7. It'll be a three-yard gain, and that's going to make it fourth down. And just in general, Charles, on a play like that, how tough is it for the defense to account for a running back essentially being a receiver downfield? It's very difficult, especially if the running back has skills like a receiver, and you're aware of that before the game even begins. So throughout your practice sessions, you're going to want to be aware of him. Where is he lining up? What can he do? What kind of damage can he do to us downfield? And who can match up with him without weakening our overall defense? You're exactly right. It's a tough task to match up to him. So the drive takes him inside the 10, but it ends with just three. And a nice job defensively to rise up and make sure they didn't get in.
Back out Nugent now after the field goal as he'll send it away. That's fielded in the end zone. And he won't return this one. He'll go down to a knee, and they'll start at the 25. So out now come the Lions. And the results for them have not been strong to this point. Two drives have ended in a turnover and then a punt. So would it be too snarky for me to say that they've shown improvement? Because you had two, oh. two drives with turnovers. <laughs> now they punted it away, so at least they didn't turn it over. So that's good, right? You're going to get some angry users <laughs> reaching out to you on social media. Well, I don't mean to be. I was actually looking for the positive. Silver lining, you know. Play faked Abdullah. It's Stafford. He's going to let one slip and got his man complete. And he's taken down, but not before getting this across midfield and just shy of the 40. A very nice pickup of 33 yards. There will always be a place for methodically marching the ball downfield. But when you can pick it up in big chunks and strike like that and have explosive plays, that's often the difference in winning and losing. Those types of plays that can knock a defense off balance, that'll drive a team towards a victory. Offense comes to the line now, first and 10. Now Stafford hands to Abdullah. Try to find a lane, but instead he'll get back to the line of scrimmage and no more. No gain on the play, it'll be second down. Well, a well-executed blitz, no doubt. Great job by the linebacker. Maybe the quarterback, if he could have seen that, could have audibled there. Yeah, he needed to be in a different play because that one just meshed perfectly for the defense. All the gaps were filled, except for the one the offense really wanted to run through, and that was filled by a big man wanting to make a tackle. And he made a great tackle. Stafford gives to Abdullah on the draw, and he's going to fight his way forward here for a modest gain. Give him six yards on the carry. It's going to be third and three now. Kid had a ton of success here so far, but you get the feeling that he might be on the verge of popping one. Yeah, even on that one, there was a little bit of a hole, but it closed there quickly at the end. In need of a conversion on third down. They had the big play to start the drive. Not much since. A shotgun snap for Stafford. And incomplete. The contact made the ball roam free and brings up fourth down. You absolutely have to have this early on, right? Third and short, they elect to throw for it. And that's normal NFL football. They're going to throw on third and short, but you've got to hit it, don't you? Yeah, in the first quarter, like you said, to set the tone, can't connect there. And the 10-year vet knocks it through the goalpost, and that will tie us at 3-3. A little bit of a lower trajectory there on the deep kick, and it worked. Had to do it because he had to drive it out low because of the length of the kick. Able to do that, got it above the defense and over the post. So we're right back where we started. All even as the kick's away. That's fielded in the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. The Bears' offense now getting ready to take over. And they had a long drive last time, but they had to settle for a field goal. And I'm sure that's how it felt to them, settling. They probably should have gotten in the end zone. Yeah, not all now joy, right? Because that's what you get when you put the ball in the end zone. But there are benefits to that type of a long drive. Your defense gets a chance to take a break, adjust a little bit, maybe get themselves ready to get back out on the field and play a little bit better. So they'll take the benefit even though they wanted the six points. Yeah, maybe wore down the other defense. We'll see. They'll throw on first down with Trubisky. He finds an opening past the 40. And they'll get it all the way out near midfield to the 45. A good pick up there of 20 yards.
On first down, Trubisky. And he's got Rome. Room to run inside the 40. And a nice gain of 21 yards. So the offense has it first and 10. Trubisky with the give to Howard. And he's got some space here. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. 11 more yards that go around, a first down as well. Well, they're making an effort to get the ground game going tonight. So far, it's working. I like what we're seeing from the offensive line. They seem to have the leverage going and they're controlling things and reestablishing the line of scrimmage, moving that defensive front backwards. But I also like what the runner's giving us, too. It appears that he's been waiting all day long to get out here and take off. Snap, we hit all zeros as time has run out on the first quarter of play. It's a tight game here early. We're back to the Motor City after this. This is the NFL on EA Sports. The NFL on EA Sports is fueled by Gatorade, the sports fuel company. Brandon Gordon, Charles Davis back with you as it's Bears football here to begin quarter number two. And they're on the move here. They've got it first and ten. his way forward here for a good little game. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. Looks like they're establishing a pretty good pattern here because they've been very heavy in the running game on the last four plays. Yeah, you took the words right out of my mouth. So far, four plays in this drive, all four on the ground. This is Howard on second down. And he's brought down just outside of the 10 at the 11. It goes as a gain of eight and it moves the chains. This drive is pretty clear. Almost feels like old school fundamentals, doesn't it? Want to impose their will on the defense. What's that, five straight runs? Yeah, five straight carries to start this drive. And like you said, the way it's working, they may just stick with it. Down they run with Howard. And they'll go backwards here, losing yardage to the 14. It's a loss of four there, bringing up second down. That goes down as a loss against his rushing stats. But really, should he have to absorb that one? He had no chance on that play before they overwhelmed him. Pretty much on top of him before he could take his first step. This one down to about the five. A sizable gain there, nine yards as they get it back to a third and five. But you've got to give kudos to your offensive line and the guy carrying the ball because they were in a second and long situation. It seemed pretty dire, but they brought it back to third and manageable with that run. The Bears on third down, just one for three thus far. This will be third and five.
From the gun, it's Trubisky. And this is going to be intercepted. It's the 2014 NFL interception leader, Glover Quinn. That's an experienced DB picking off a rookie, and you know sometimes those experienced DBs, they love going against the young pops, don't they? And I go back to the offseason, had a quick conversation with him about, hey, when you play younger quarterbacks, what's it like for you? And he says, it's like being a boxer. I give him a lot of different angles, a lot of different looks, and a lot of times I just bait the young guy. And there he baited him right into the interception. After the interception, here's Stafford. Over the middle, complete to Tate. A gain of six there on first. Some think the teams really won't throw a slant route unless you have a receiver that has a lot of stature to him. But sometimes the little guys, they get lost in there. People can't really locate them, and they run that quick cut on the slant, and oftentimes they can turn it into big plays. Here's Stafford now on second down. And that's incomplete. So many offenses want to include their running backs into their passing offense and be able to swing the ball out or check it down to them. But sometimes those guys are just not as comfortable catching the ball as they are running it. The Lions on third down, just one for three thus far. This is third and four. Out of the gun, Stafford. And this is going to be incomplete. I'm not sure we could spot any tendency here on this third down. They could have run it or passed it. Either one was available. They chose to try and get it through the air, but they run successful. Here's Sam Martin now, as he'll punt it away for the second time. His first punt, 45 yards. This looks good as well. This is taken at the 18. A good return there, call it 13 yards. And the Bears take over. The Bears offense led by Mitch Trubisky heading back out there. And he's been fun to watch run the football. We know he can pass, but using his legs effectively here in this one. No doubt about it. Watch him maneuver in the pocket, out of the pocket, making the plays that he's making, which are breaking down the defense. I thought back to when we had our morning jog before the game, <laughs> and I couldn't keep up with you. Those legs, they're valuable for his team. They go back to the air here after the INT on the last drive. And his throw is going to be incomplete. Dontrell Inman, the intended target. And that'll bring up second down. Well, I'm kind of glad that's incomplete because it gives me a chance to talk about the snow game from this last week <laughs> that everyone was buzzing about. Indianapolis and Buffalo, how awesome was that snowstorm? Oh, it was unbelievable. Did you help remove snow from the stadium prior to? Because the Bills were paying a lot of No, they were looking for volunteers. For volunteers <laughs> and tickets. But once the game started, trying to see the guys out on the field, luckily the Bills were all red. But how about the extra point to send the game to overtime? Adam Vinatieri, what did he do to get that done? Yeah, so it was 7-6. He went out for the extra point. He intentionally kicked it right of the right upright, and the strong gust of wind pushed it in. The Bills initially were celebrating. They thought he missed it. No, Vinatieri knew what he was doing. So he played the wind, yep. knocks it through, and ended up being, what, a 43-yard Yeah, there was a 43-yard extra point. So reminiscent of the kick he made with against New England, Oakland. against Oakland in the snow in the Tucker Roll game. Now Trubisky. He gets it to Sims, complete. And he's got the first down yardage before he's brought down at the 42. Seven yards there, good enough to move the sticks. 
Many different ways to create space, but on that play, he did it with that big, wide body of his. Didn't get a whole lot of yardage on the play, but it did what it was supposed to, pick up a first down. to the 44. Let's give a lot of credit to the offensive line. They've been able to move the ball really well on the ground the entire game, and while that wasn't a huge one, that's okay. They'll take them in short, steady bursts. about six up to midfield. And there's a run to be happy with. Good, solid yardage. He'll take that any time you hand the ball to a back. The Bears on third down. Two for five to this point. They're up against a third and one situation. They'll try to run for it with Howard. And he's got enough for the first across midfield to the 48. They only get two there, but on third and one, that's all they needed to keep the drive going. I like this focus there because he wasn't thinking about breaking that one big. All he thought about was, I need one. Let's go get that. Ended up picking up two. way forward here for a modest game. It's a six-yard pickup, and it gets him to second and four. Hey, when you get good yardage like that on first down, it really does a whole lot of good for your entire offense, but I love the way he's finishing those runs. At the end of things, he's making sure he gets just a little bit extra. throw it with Trubisky. Got his man complete over the middle. It's Sims. And here he'll be brought down a little shy of the 35 at the 36. It'll go as a gain of six that time and it moves the chains as well. When this offense can get their tight ends involved, they can move the football. Here, a nice route, able to look it in and picks up the first down. to throw Trubisky on first down. That's to the rookie tight end Adam Shaheen. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. 17 yards on the pick up there. The drive will continue. It's a first down. Partners, a lot of fun watching the NFL now, isn't it? Because when the big fella runs routes, it used to be when we were kids, he'd run about three different routes and that was it. Now he can run anything and catch the balls we just saw there. here on first down and his throw is going to be incomplete Adam Shaheen was the intended target that'll bring up second down let's face it perfection is something we all chase whether it's playing this game or whatever we do hard to attain but that's what they were searching for as that pass goes incomplete and the offense readies for play number 10 of this series and we've got movement I think this is against the Bears here. Let's find out. Offense. And that'll set them back five. Still second down.
And the seemingly endless drive continues. Throwing once more, it's Trubisky. Over the middle, that's taken in by Bellamy. The reception good for seven. It's third down. I like that about Trubisky. Has some calm in the pocket, some good presence, despite the fact only 13 starts in his college career, an entirely different style of offense. Remember, he played that spread stuff while at North Carolina. The Bears on third down. They've hit it 50%, three of six to this point. This is third and eight. Again, it's Trubisky. And he's able to pick up the first before he's brought down inside the five at the four. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. about all no gain on the play that time and it sets up second and goal so nothing there but maybe you blame that on the blocking yeah some point you've got to win at the point of attack and on that play that was all the defense they made it happen Here we go now. Three, nine, two, nine. they'll try again with Howard and always oh, going to be brought down by the face mask here come the flags this is going to get him a first down. Personal foul. Face mask. Defense. The officials so cognizant of that call nowadays, but that would look pretty easy. Yeah, you're right. They took out of their hands having to wonder whether it's a five yard or a 15 yard inadvertent or not. Now it's a lot easier. You see it, you call it. to the five. That's going to go as a loss of four, and it'll be second down. I don't know if there's any other way to put it, but that play was blown up right from the snap. How about the guys on the defensive side of the ball? It's almost like they were in the offensive huddle. Yeah, it's one thing to stand them up from that one-yard line, pushing them back to the five, though. Wow. Yeah, I like what you just said there. Not just stand them up, but end up making a play on the other side of the line of scrimmage. This is Howard, and I don't think he got there. No, they stop him right where it all started. It'll go as no gain on the play, and now they're looking at a third and goal. Defensively, I think they can smell a stop ball right around the five here brings up third. And I think what they've done is they put doubt in the minds of the offensive guys. What do we do? Because now you don't have a go-to play. Either side they pick, throwing it, running it, it won't be easy. Don't forget, coming up at halftime, we'll take you to Orlando and Larry Ridley. Larry will have the highlights of this first half, but he won't have touchdowns because we haven't had any to this point. But there's still time, though, partner. The offense on third down, they've hit four of seven. They're looking at a third and goal here. Throwing here, Trubisky. And 
the Chicago Bears are in the end zone. Now Mike Nugent for the extra point. And it is up. And it's good. That'll make our score 10-3 now. And what a drive that was. 16 plays all told. And it's capped off by a touchdown run of six yards. Now it's Nugent out to kick it away. Fielded about a yard deep. And he'll get it up to about the 26-yard line just across the 25. All right, let's discuss Amir Abdullah. He's just been looking for some space. Yeah, I'm not going to pin it on him or the offensive line, but they need to get this run game going better. Sometimes you just have to credit the defense. They came in with a plan themselves. So I think now you try to mix things up a little bit. Get the ball in the hands of some other people. Find some other playmakers. But always let the defense believe that he's still a threat. I was going to say, don't forget about it. No, don't take him totally out of the game. First down at Stafford. Kebron caught left side. And he'll get it up to the 33-yard line. Seven yards, the pickup on the pitch and catch. Stafford barking out signals and trying to get his guys set quickly. On second down, here's Stafford. Completing it here to Marvin Jones. Stafford to Jones, enough for a Lion first down. As long as you go through your proper reads and progressions, the drag route can be one of those old reliable plays because usually it's good for a good chunk of yardage as we just saw there. And those guys like it, right? They can get the ball with a full head of steam. Especially against man coverage because man coverage, you're typically running away from someone and not worried about traffic coming out on the other end. Looks like the defense in press coverage here. First down, Stafford here. He's going to look deep down the field, and it pops free. The collision there jarred the ball loose and brings up second down. But one thing that I've liked defensively is that they've shown him a lot of different looks here in the first half. They've come after him. They've sat back. I think that's what you need to do to keep an offense guessing. And they certainly have kept them on their toes. That's why they haven't had much success on the scoreboard. Second and ten, Stafford. It's brought in left side by Tate. And he's brought down. 15 yards there for number 15. play on first down. We're going to get a timeout instead as he'll stop it with just over a minute to go before halftime. Six, 
So the offense took the timeout. Looks like they're ready to go as we get set to resume the action. second down play we'll get a whistle a signal and a timeout as the stoppage will come with a little under a minute to go in this first half Completed pass play. Now let's see if they go back to the air or to the ground. Again, it's Stafford. He's going to float this one deep right side. And they went for a big play through the air on second down. Couldn't connect. Now it's third. Tremendous field position there and a perfect time to do exactly what they did. Take a shot at the end zone. And they went for the big play, just unable to complete it. The Lions on third down. They've only converted once in four tries. This is third and nine. They'll fake the give. Now Stafford. It's incomplete. Took a shot. Couldn't connect. Well, they're slinging it. And then there's one you got to put a timer on, huh? I mean, that one came in hot. That yeah, came in hot, but overthrown out of his reach and incomplete. Now it's Matt Prater on for the Lion field goal try. This officially a 55-yard attempt. And this won't get there, won't be on line either. It's no good, off to the right, and this score will stay right where it is. And this is one of the risks you run when you attempt a long field goal. If you miss, the defense takes over the spot of the placement, so now they've got a chance to get one more drive in before halftime. First and ten, it's Trubisky to the sideline, and wow, what a catch there. He doesn't get a lot, but he was able to get the feet down complete. Give him two yards on that play, and it'll make it a second down. Was that a receiver? <laughs> yeah, actually it was. It was a running back who was a receiver on the play. Ike, he's been spending time in the receiver drills getting his feet down. Well, those guys out of the backfield, they got to be good, agile with their feet. He showed the agility there with a toe tap. No doubt about it. It's like he'd run to ballet school. Got the toes down and stayed in bounds. Neutral zone fraction defense. So five yards there is one of the big guys up front moved. And in a 4-3 front, you've got the two defensive tackles right near the football. I know there's a lot of movement around there, but they're always taught to have one eye on the football. Apparently, that didn't happen. Thank you. 
Now Trubisky to throw on second. It's hauled in here by Edmund. And he'll be brought down somewhat awkwardly here and a late flag as well. I think this one's going to be a face mask. Personal foul. Face mask. Defense. So that flag will cost him 15. And it doesn't matter anymore how you get the face mask. Any part of it is going to be 15 yards. And the defense with their backs against the wall a little bit here as the offense is in the red zone. On first down, Trubisky. That's going to be caught at the 10-yard line. And now before this first down play, we're going to get a timeout here. As they'll stop it with a little over 30 seconds to go in the first half of play. So the offensive unit called the T.O. And now we are ready to resume play. They come up in an empty set. Four wide receivers, right, one tight end. From the gun, it's Trubisky. And that one will fall incomplete. Clock here now, just under 30 seconds to go in this first half. Well, too much oomph, too much mustard there on that pass. They really turned it loose, didn't they? Really cut loose with that one. Sharp, strong. Didn't lead to a completion, though. Made it very difficult. Second down, the ball on the two here, second and goal. And I think they stopped him again. They did at the one-yard line. And prior to this third and two play, we're going to get a timeout call as they'll stop it with 25 seconds to go here in half number one. And welcome back, the offensive unit. They took the timeout, and now they get set to line up as we resume action. This offense so far on third down, they've had good success, five for eight to this point. This is third and goal. Right, here we go. Three, nine, From the shotgun is Trubisky. And he's gonna be swallowed up and taken down. Sacked back at the five-yard line. Now on fourth down, we've got a whistle here and a timeout as they stop it with 16 seconds to go in half number one. So the offense takes the timeout, and they are back out and ready to rock. And for the second time tonight, this field goal unit comes out here. From the right hash, and this one just a chippy. And Nugent puts it through. And they will stretch their lead to 10 now at 13-3. It's a little bit of time left here in the second quarter, but they get the field goal near the end of the first half to expand that lead. Now that's got to feel good, but they can't let up. Now on the kickoff, they've got to make sure they don't give up a big return or big yardage to set up the other team for one last chance to score themselves.
Back out Nugent now after the field goal as he'll send it away. That'll be taken in the end zone. And not wanting to risk anything here late in the half, he'll just take a knee and they'll bring the football out to the 25. Start the drive with Abdullah. And not a whole lot doing there as he'll get it up to about the 28-yard line. Three yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. So we reach halftime with the visiting Bears out on top here. As we'll send you down to Orlando where Larry Ridley has our EA Sports Halftime Report. Larry? All right, Brandon, back to you and Charles in a bit. But first, let's get you caught up on all the highlights from the first half. The Lions haven't played their best football and trail because of it. The Bears have come in and looked good as the road team and will just keep trying to play hard and maintain the lead going forward. All right, let's take a look at some of the highlights from the first half. Lions starting on their opening drive. It's Matthew Stafford targeting Golden Tate and he won't be brought down until he makes it to the 48-yard line. We go to the second. Under pressure here, the pass is picked off. Quinn's is the one who makes the pick, halting the offense's drive. Bears take it at the six. Run play coming up here, and he cap off the long drive with the TD. As they take the lead, 7-3. Okay, Larry, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. Both teams appear ready for the fight ahead, and we resume action here in quarter number three. That'll be taken in the end zone. And the decision to bring it out is going to cost him about seven yards, all told, as he's taken down back shy of the 20. So here's the Bears' offense now as they get set to start this third quarter. They built a good first-half lead. Now they have a chance to add on to it. And what I'm thinking is that the offensive staff spend the entire halftime just working with them on here's what we think they're going to do to attack us in the second half nice first half that we've had guys but be prepared for some change-ups we're going to see them when we kick it off in the second half see how they handle any adjustments that might be made defensively they'll throw on first down with Trubisky he couldn't quite hold it got hit Ball pops out, incomplete. Well, that gives us a chance to take a step back and look at last week in the NFL. We had two teams clinch playoff spots officially. Charles, the Eagles and the Steelers are in. How about that? We always talk about December being playoff time, right? The drive and the Eagles and the Steelers both know that they're in the tournament, as the players like to call it. The Eagles as NFC East champions, although they did lose their quarterback, Carson Wentz, in the big win over the Rams. They run with Howard, and he'll power his way up near the 25. They get six here after the incompletion, and it'll leave them with a third and four. Frustrating for a defense, energizing for an offense, finding a way to create that type of yardage in your running game. That to make the guys carrying the ball very, very happy. The Bears on third down, five out of nine thus far. This is third and four. Right, here we go. They'll run it now out of the gun, and they'll bring him down at the 27-yard line. Four yards on the pickup there, but it's going to take him to fourth down. But a good play is made on defense. Oftentimes, leverage is the key to everything. Defensive line not getting turned. 
all the other guys making sure they're in the right spot. And on that play, they were able to stop him short of a first down. Here's Pat O'Donnell now. And the way this offense has moved the ball, he hasn't been needed till here in the third. Fielded at the 20. Give him 11 yards that time on the return. And the Lions will take over. Now we take a glance at the offense as they work their way back out for their first possession of the second half. They were able to get the stop defensively. Now a chance really to set the tone here in quarter three. They can really take charge, can't they? And this is probably how it was drawn up at the half. I think we can go inside the locker room, all right? <laughs> and I think we would see up on the grease boards, stop them defensively, get the ball back for the offense, and let's go downfield and score. Seems simple, right? The last part, we have to find out that's going to happen. But the first part worked to perfection. Did exactly what they wanted, and now their offense has to pay it off. Let's see if they can get the latter 50%. Stafford. And he'll get it up near the 35, right at the 34 here. Call it a gain of three, and it'll be a second down. Decent chunk of yardage still left here, second and seven. Stafford gives to Abdullah, and he went nowhere. Well, he went backwards, back to the 33. He lost two there, and it's third down. If these guys are going to chop into that deficit, they got to do a much better job in the run game. Caught behind the line of scrimmage, no yardage to be found. The Lions on third down, just one for five to this point. This is third and nine. We're rolling, we're rolling. Out of the gun, Stafford. And he connects with Ebron. And he's got a first down as he's up to the 48. That one good for 16, and the drive will continue. And after that completion, you can understand why so many teams in the league are emphasizing speed on defense at every position. The tight ends have created so many tough matchups now. If you can't run with a tight end as a linebacker, this is going to be the result every time. And on the outside, they're playing press coverage. Now a play fake here on first down. It's caught inside the 25. And he takes this thing down deep into Chicago territory. An excellent pickup of 34 yards. Now that play will end up on the highlights, and you'll see it all over the place. But what you won't see, the offensive line that bought the extra time that allowed for the big completion downfield, those guys made that play possible. So here we go, first and 10 now. A handoff to Abdullah. And they're going to lose some on this play. Being knocked back to the 18. That's going to go as a loss of a yard, and it'll be second down. When you're putting together a formula for winning defense, it's exactly what we're seeing in this game. Controlling the line of scrimmage, attacking, and changing everything so that now they're playing in the offense's backfield. They're playing an excellent game. So now 11 yards to go for this offensive unit. It's second down. Here's Stafford. Blitz coming and down he goes. Nick Kwiatkowski able to collapse the pocket and drop him for a loss of three. 
Man, he got in there so quickly, Charles. What could the offense have done to adjust and account for that? But what you're hoping is that you figure out and you see and get a clue that maybe there's going to be some pressure coming at you, and you change the blocking schemes. Maybe you go to max protection. The biggest one is maybe you bring your running back in to try and keep you clean. But in that case, that didn't happen. Zero accountability, and a sack resulted. After the sack, Stafford and the Lions come up on a third and long situation. The shotgun snap for Stafford. And that is incomplete. Sometimes the coverage is so good, no matter what you're doing on offense, you just can't shake anyone free. They try their best to find someone open, but... They took away every passing alley, every angle, and shut the play down. Now it's Matt Prater on for the Lion field goal try. This will be, let's see, 38 yards out. And Prater's kick is on the money. It's good. And they will cut the lead back down to a touchdown now at 13 to 6. A decent drive there to start the third quarter. They only salvage three out of it, but they do inch a bit closer. Yeah, still lots of time to go in this one. Take the points, move on, and let your defense try to get the ball back. Martin to do the honors after the made field goal. That's fielded in the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. Jordan Howard and the Bears offense making their way back out there. And as we peer at the numbers, he got off to a struggling start, but since then really found his rhythm. And I think that comes together with not just the halftime adjustments, but just that quiet confidence, if you just keep doing the things you've been working on, eventually there will be creases, you know? Find those gaps in the defense, keep working on them, and maybe what didn't happen very well for you in the beginning of the game, it starts to open up as the game moves on. They run play action for Howard, now Trubisky. And he's got his man out of the backfield. That's complete. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. It's a pickup of 16 there, and it'll lead to a new set of downs. So many times you hear today's NFL described as a space game. Get your best players into space with the football in their hands. That's why sometimes you just swing it out to your runner, get him out in the flat, and let him have a chance to make people miss an open field. Now the offense lining up first and ten. Here we go now. Three, 19. Ah! Running with Howard. And an alley to run. And he'll get it into enemy territory just across midfield at the 49. That one good for 10 yards. And that'll bring up a second in just about a few inches here. Really tough drive, but that run help salvage something there because now there's something positive that came out of it. They got to see good blocking, good push by the offensive line, wide receivers trying to get involved, a good run by the back, and now maybe it'll be a catalyst for them to look at going forward, watching it on tape. Maybe they can keep incorporating that type of a run into their offense. See if they stay on the ground for second down. Trying the right side with Howard. And they go backwards here, losing yardage back at the 48-yard line. So he loses three yards there. Now third down. We all have habits. We can be somewhat predictable. And you know me pretty well on second down and short. What I like to say? Play action. Yeah, without a doubt. I thought that was a great spot to call it. Instead, didn't go their way, did it? No, defense sold out for the run. Worked out well. The Bears on third down. They've hit on half of them, five for ten. This time it's third and three. Let's go. Three, let's go. Out of the gun, Trubisky. And this is going to be incomplete. 
You know, every time we talk with people about the most important quality for a quarterback to have in the NFL, what do they usually cite? Arm strength. Yeah, and that's really way down on the list. Accuracy is one of the bigger ones, maybe the foremost one. That's what he needed on that play. Here's Pat O'Donnell now. On for his second punt. He'd take a repeat of his first. He gets this one away, and boy, it's another boomer. And that'll hit in the end zone. Much too much leg there. That'll be a touchback. And Detroit getting set to go now. And last time able to get three. It's not what they wanted. They wanted six, but they got at least something. They mustered something out of the drive. They'll take it. Just I, I like the way you've described it. Not ideal, but they'll take it. Anything to put some points on the board. But this time on offense, they don't even want to see the field goal kicker trot on the field. <laughs> they want that ball in the end zone. Yeah, they'll be going for six. and 10 Stafford throwing over the middle but it's incomplete Eric Ebron the big tight end is intended target and now it's second down well while we have a second I want to revisit our MVP discussion that we've had the last couple of weeks because obviously Carson Wentz was a candidate but he goes down with a knee injury so 13 games on his resume not that he's worried about this but for our sake is he still a candidate for MVP? I think that he still is, but now he's almost at the mercy of what happens around him. And what I mean by that is 13 games is enough. There's plenty of body of work there. But if Tom Brady continues to go off and New England goes in as the number one seed in the playoffs, you know, that, that bolsters his case, of course. Antonio Brown from the Pittsburgh Steelers, a wide receiver, starting to get a lot of buzz now as being an MVP candidate. Russell Wilson's hit, you know, his chances took a little bit of a hit last week in the loss to Jacksonville. But what might help Wentz more than anything, partner, is if Philadelphia loses some games now without it. Mm, yeah. That shows just how valuable he is. They don't want it. He doesn't want it. But that may demonstrate his MVP qualities. But Antonio Brown creeping in over 1,500 yards, nine touchdowns. They go play action here on first down. Looking for Tate, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Prince Amukamara, and he'll return this ball across midfield to the 47-yard line. The coverage that time was unbelievable the whole way around. I mean, you've got a quarterback just standing back there in the pocket. He had all night to survey the field, and he still couldn't find anybody. And when he finally did throw it, he threw it to the other team. Chicago getting ready to go as they take the field. And a tight game after punting last time. See if they can get something going on this drive. As they head to the field now with a game this close, you've got to feel there's a sense of urgency for them going on offense right now. But they have to do it without letting panic creep in and affect their play. with Howard and he's going to get this one down near the 45 yard line give him a couple on the carry there second and eight this is what happens sometimes when you abandon the running game it's hard to get back to it because once guys get out of that mentality of firing out and hitting people hard to get them started again occasionally and after the play on the ground that brings up second down here They'll run it now, out of the gun. And this one goes nowhere. Losing yardage on the play back at the 46. And they'll lose a yard that time, and that's going to lead to a third down. I know they've got to be careful not to go to the well too often, but it's a fine line, isn't it? Because sometimes, if you've got success, you want to just keep pounding away. But no success there. They rallied quickly on the defensive end.
The Bears on third down. They've converted five times in their many chances thus far. This is third and nine. Now it's Trubisky. And a big loss here as he's taken down. Akeem Spence able to track him down for a loss of 13. And it'll bring up fourth down. Well, how about that? A dime set on defense. Six defensive backs. None of them blitz. They're just back there in coverage. Defensive lineman gets the sack. That's where the O-line, they go to the sideline, they keep their, their helmets on so the cameras can't find them, right? Yeah, the cameras can't find them, but I know one thing, the O-line coach will. Here's Pat O'Donnell now. As the drive goes backwards, so he's on to punt it away. Averaging over 50 yards of punt so far as this one's away. And this will hit just beyond the goal line as it's into the end zone for a touchback. And Detroit getting set to go now. And following the interception, just any interception, are you a little bit more cautious when you start that next drive, or no, you just throw that out the window? I think you are. I don't think that there's any way you can run back out there and go, ah, totally didn't affect me. Let's just go ahead and be loose with the football again. You're going to take care of it, but you have to be careful about being too cautious because now you can't run any offense at all. Still want to attack. We'll see how they attack them here. They go back to the air here after the INT on the last drive. Caught right side, Tate. Takes this up just short of the 30, but he was able to avoid that earlier tackle. Nice move. A good pick up there. Eight yards on the first down completion. And there's Golden Tate doing exactly what he does well. Extra yards after the catch. Exactly. To your point, among wide receivers, no one had more yards after the catch than Tate last year at 635. And some options here for the offense on second and two. Now a give. This is Abdullah. And this has been a recurring theme tonight for sure. Nowhere to run. Back to the line of scrimmage. That's all. And as a defensive end, getting off the ball quickly, swarming to the football, making a tackle. That's what we saw right there. Yeah, and that's what their job is. And really, a lot of the time, they have to throttle back a little bit in the run game because you know those defensive ends. They're like in a sprinter stance. They're just headed straight for the quarterback. That was good recognition on that play to hold them to no gain. Stafford to the right side to Eric Ebron. And he gets all the way down to the 30-yard line. A big play on third down for the Lions. 42 yards. And the game just keeps evolving. Big guys running those corner routes, so difficult to cover. Fresh set of downs here. From the gun, here's Stafford. Over the middle, and it's incomplete. He was trying to find Marvin Jones that time, and that'll bring up second down. Had an open man that time, but ended up putting a little too much heat on it, don't you think, partner? Absolutely, just needed a touch more air under it. Instead, he fired an absolute bullet. Second down now after the incompletion. From the pistol, they'll run with Abdullah. And he'll fall forward to the 29-yard line. Just a gain of a yard there, and now it'll be third down. Pretty good little two-play sequence there. You force the incompletion, then a very short pickup. Yeah, now maybe you bring in an extra defensive back or two because you want to try and defend on third down. They like to play those nickel or sub packages, don't they? The Lions on third down. They've converted three times and eight chances. This is third and nine. From the gun, Stafford. Out to the flat. That's complete to his running back. And he'll have the first down, getting this one to the 14-yard line. That one good for 16, and the drive will continue. 
That's exactly what Detroit wants to do with Theo Riddick. Find a way to get him the ball on third down out of the backfield. Man's got excellent hands. The numbers bear that out. Two years ago, led all running backs with 80 catches. Ten games last year, 53 catches. And here comes play number six on this drive. From the red zone now, Stafford. It's complete, Abdullah. And he's going to be brought down just shy of the five at the six. One quarter remains here in this Thursday night matchup. We'll return with more after this. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now at Ford Field. It's the Lions trailing, but with possession of the football as we get set to bring you the fourth quarter. Looking to jam the receivers at the line here. Press coverage look defensively. Back to the ground now. Here's Abdullah. And this is going to result in losing yardage. They're driven back to the eight-yard line. They'll lose a yard, and it brings up third. And yet again, this run game just continues to be completely shut off. Completely stymied. I mean, they're trying to get some consistency, trying to find places to roam. They just haven't been there throughout this game. The Lions on third down, not quite 50%, four for nine. This is third and four. Now the Notre Dame man, this is Theo Riddick. And yet again, nowhere to run. This time, maybe we'll get back to the line of scrimmage, but no more than that. He had a great read there from his free safety position. And, Charles, you know with those guys, it's all about their eyes. They have to be laser-focused. Yeah, I had to fake my way through it when I was playing, but now I can see exactly what they're doing. And on that play, he obviously had no presence to feel like he's being pushed for a pass. And without that, that allowed him to get up to the line of scrimmage and hold him to no gain. One score down. Here we go. They're going to go for it here on fourth down. Got to try it here. He's back to throw. And no, it's incomplete. Boy, it looked like he had it and dropped it. And the Bears will get the football back. And they've now made two trips to the red zone and still looking for their first touchdown. Not able to punch it in. And if you're on defense, your confidence is sky high. Because mentally, you're saying, hey, you're in the red zone. We're thinking we're giving up three. We just want to give up six. In this case, they end up not giving up the touchdown at all. They've got to feel great about what they got done. Very tough spot here for the offense to start. They go with Howard to begin the drive. Shifts free at the 15. And they'll get him down up past the 15. Personal foul. Face mask. Defense. Trailing in the fourth this close of a game, that's a penalty you just can't afford. It's an absolute killer, and it's one that drives coaches and teammates insane. Now 
Ravens had time and a new set of downs. Do my eyes deceive me, or is he getting stronger as this game moves along? Burst seems just as good here in the fourth as it was way back in the first, doesn't it? I do believe someone put a lot of time in in the offseason and continues to condition during the season in order to continue to carry the ball at this rate. They go right back to Howard. And he'll take this one up close to about the 45. Two yards on the carry there. It'll be second down. I know the game's not over, but there's got to be a sense of satisfaction right now for the guy carrying the football a bunch today. 99 yards, and he has enough time to go over the century mark. Well, you got to give it to him again, right? Yeah, there's no doubt about it. You're not worried about losing yardage here. You're not worried about any of that. You just want to get him to the promised land for every runner. 100 yards or more in a game. Good cover defensively as they get to him just beyond the 45 after the juke. Another two-yard gain there, but they'll need to do better this time. It's third and six. You'll forgive me if I get excited about what we just saw there, won't you? I know I'm supposed to be neutral here, but those were terrific plays back-to-back -back defensively. They know what the mission is. They've got to force a punt here if they want to have a chance to win the game. They absolutely do. Steps one and two done. Now they need this third step. On third down, Trubisky. And he'll be out of bounds just shy of the 40. Call it a gain of 10, and they pick up the first. Couldn't just sit on it here, could they? Had to throw the ball on third down. Got the big completion in the pickup. Fresh set of downs now. They've got to feel great. And defensively a backbreaker. play fake. Here's Trubisky. Looking for Inman deep. Got his man and it's caught for a Chicago touchdown. Dontrell Inman, 42 yards. And the Bears will add on to their lead. And partner, they found a gap there on the post pattern, and it was in the middle third of the field. And that's really difficult to do because ordinarily the safeties are back there to prevent that happening. But they found the opening and exploited it. Nugent on now for the extra point. And the lead is up to 14. Five plays there on that drive. And the end result is a Bears touchdown. Now it's Nugent out to kick it away. That'll be taken in the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. And Detroit getting set to go now. And last time out, went for it on fourth down, turned it over, gave him great field position, turned it to six points, so they've got to recover here, Charles. It's amazing what one decision can do in the chain of events, right? The decision to go for it on fourth down. Caused all of that. It caused every bit of it, but it showed confidence. Hey, I've got confidence in you guys. Go pick it up for them. Didn't happen. Also showed confidence in the defense. Mm -hmm. They didn't pick up their end of the bargain. <laughs> so now they've got to come back out and start over and rebuild that confidence. Now a first down throw, Stafford. That's pulled in by the rookie, Kenny Galladay. Give him nine there on the first down completion. 
At this stage, this drive's got to be touchdown or bust because you need two of them. And if I'm the offensive play caller, I'm not just looking at my dagger plays downfield. I'm looking at some of my specials, something that can fool them and give you a big play now. With a sense of urgency. No doubt. Here's Stafford now on second down. Ebron with it over the middle. And he'll bring it up here to right at the 40-yard line. Stafford finding his big tight end Ebron for a lion first down. Fourth quarter, every drive so critical, and you figure may only get one more shot after this, so a touchdown's imperative on this drive. It is, but you also have to think to yourself in play calling, don't hold anything back. Don't save it for the second touchdown. You got the first one for the second one to even matter. Stafford on first down. And his throw here is incomplete. Let's face it, you can run the route tree as many times as you want, get in sync, practice it, do all those things. But once you get to game speed, it doesn't always time up quite that well. That one goes incomplete. So they're still at the original line of scrimmage here. Second down and 10. Throwing again. Stanford. They'll find a man over the middle. It's Galladay. 23 yards on the play. You cannot write these guys off just yet. Not with a quarterback like that under center. You mean it actually crossed your mind with him running the team that you could actually maybe write this game off? Not yet. Not a chance. Not with him. We've seen it too many times. Now contact up front as penalty markers come in. Who is this against? Encroachment, the defense. They'll step off the five yards. Yeah, partner, you know. Defensive end, he wants to get into the offensive backfield. He wants that get off to be as fast as possible. A little too quick on that one. Looks like the defense in press coverage here. Throwing again at Stafford. And an alley to run. Finding room to the 20. And he's brought down. 17 yards on the pickup there, and the drive will continue. And now inside the red zone, the offense will operate. Inside the red zone here, they'll look to throw. Throwing middle, but it's incomplete. Bradley Marquez, the intended target, and it's second down. And not to get too overcritical there, because he knows what he's doing, but his shoulders looked a little off kilter there when he threw that. I don't think you've been overly critical there. You're just analyzing it, and... He gets those shoulders right. That pass will go from incomplete to complete. So the false start will back them up five. False start, offense. So that'll back them up five.
following the penalty. Abdullah, and not much to speak of there. Maybe a yard down to the 20. Not too many offenses want to turn down long drives, but when you're down what they are, they've got to pay it off with some points. The Lions on third down. They're right at about the league average, 40%, 4 for 10. This is third and 14. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he'll wind up losing yardage here back at the 21-yard line. That'll make it fourth down after a loss of one. It's real easy to say this running game needs to be better, but the reality is they've been given little time to actually find a place to run the football. It's almost like the defense is there on the handoff. Stafford will stay out there. He'll lead his guys up to go for it on fourth down. So it looks like somebody may have forgotten the snap count and a five-yard penalty ensues. Offense. So this will be accepted as it moves the offense backwards. And how about this? Fourth and long, and they're going to go for it. As expected, they're going for it to keep the drive alive. And this is caught at the eight. And now this is going to depend on the spot. And they say he's just short. So they really needed points here in a two-score game. Could not come away with anything there on fourth. And while we know they're a little bit discouraged here, they can't check out of this game. You and I have called a good number of games over the course of our career where we've seen these types of situations. Teams get the ball back. And that miracle does occur. So they can't let that dream go just yet. They have to get stout on defense here. Yeah, right now, really hoping for a turnover. Here's the Chicago offense coming back out onto the field. And they're hoping to redo their efforts in the last drive when they got into the end zone. And just think of what it's like now on the sideline. Because when you score a touchdown, you have to go over and look at the tablet and see what you did on the last drive. When you scored points, it's a whole lot better view than when you're trying to figure out how to fix things there. And tough starting field position here. Here we go now. Green, 39. They'll begin the drive with Howard. And running room scarce here. He's going to be stopped in his tracks at the line of scrimmage. Officially no gain on the play, and it's second down. And in this situation with the lead fourth quarter, they're liking keeping the ball on the ground, I'm sure. That's just smart football, but you know the defense has to know it as well. They've got to stop them here. So now we're going to see that loading the box in a big way. Six, seven, eight, nine, whatever it's going to take. It's a little bit more pressure on your big offensive line. And incomplete there. A nice hit. Jars the ball free and brings up third down. That's very well timed there defensively because it's not a bad throw, but the collision came at the exact time he was reaching to bring in the football. Really, really well done. Decent offense, just better defense. I think you're right. From the gun on third down, it's Trubisky. They find some open field here. And heavy contact. He is knocked down hard. Give him 12 yards on that one. It earns him a fresh set of downs. First down and 10 now for the offensive group. On the give, running right is Howard. Looking for a cutback lane, but nothing there as he's met at the line of scrimmage. Call it no gain on the play, and it'll be second down. Well, he didn't make headway on that one, but he's had plenty of carries all night long. 
I just wonder if maybe he's a little bit tired from toting the rock that much. Second down, here's Trubisky. Shaheen, the tight end on the right side. And able to get this across the 20 before going out of bounds. Only three yards on the catch. It's third down. Not a big window to throw. Coverage wasn't too bad there. Yeah, they had him under wraps pretty well, but somehow able to muscle his way open and catch the ball. And the offense needs seven out of this play on third down. Play action. Now Trubisky. Finds his target. It's Bellamy. And they're going to get this one all the way out across the 45. A really nice gain of 25 yards. They have the nice cushion. <laughs> they just want to pour it on right now. Still throwing the football. And I know my background says, why do you need to do this? Just go ahead and run out the clock and get a win. But as many people pointed out to me, this is a video game, man. <laughs> go ahead and put the numbers up. Sportsmanship, not an issue. Exercise those fingers. Inside the 40. And he gets this one all the way down inside the 15. Almost unstoppable on the ground there as that one is good for 39. Starting to become a tough spot for this defense. You're down fourth quarter. Looking a little fatigued maybe on that side of the ball. Partner, we've seen this before, haven't we? Because every coach we've ever talked to says body language is important and now you're seeing guys with their hands on their hips they're bent over hands on their knees and the offensive guys are just saying let's just keep running it at them we've got them now here's Trubisky and it pops free the collision there jarred the ball loose and brings up second down you get a tight end like this and you know he's used to dishing out punishment but here he's one that has to absorb the contact and as a result unable to hold on to the football Unable to connect on the first down pass play. Now it's second down. Green, 39. And he'll give it here to his running back. And for one of the first times tonight, he's going to be held up at the line of scrimmage. Call it no gain on the run there, and now they'll be looking at a third down. Time for a break. We're back to finish this one off after this. So the Bears with the football here as we welcome you back. And let's see what they've come up with offensively after having time to talk it over. It's been a pretty long drive. This will be play number nine, and they need 10 yards out of it on third. Now they'll run it with Cohen, and he'll get this one down to about the 10-yard line. And now right out of the two-minute break, we'll get a timeout used defensively with a minute 56 to go. So a defensive timeout, chance to regather, regroup, and get set as we resume action. So now the field goal unit trots out there for the third time tonight.
And Nugent puts it through. And that'll push the lead up to 17. And you figure with that, this game's pretty well out of reach. It would take a heck of a comeback at this point. Being three scores down, I think that's too much to ask with time winding down here in the fourth. Back out Nugent now after the field goal as he'll send it away. On the return, Dwayne Washington. Then he'll take this across the 25, a couple extra yards up to the 27-yard line. So here come the Lions now. They're down big here late. I don't know, you just one last drive here for pride. Some people like to do that. I remember playing for a guy once we were down huge, and someone said, Coach, what do you want to call? He just waved a hand like, who cares? Let's <laughs> get out, out of here <laughs> and do something some other time. But some teams like to do something at the end to feel a little bit better yeah. as, they continue to, as they continue to move forward. Yeah, probably just want to put this one behind them. down Stafford here now he'll dump it underneath to his running back complete and they get him down but not before he takes it across the 40 yard line a really nice pickup of 14 yards and it moves the sticks and the throw left sideline here is caught but they'll rule it incomplete couldn't keep his feet in second down oh he caught it just couldn't get the feet down couldn't get that toe tap sequence right I was ready to call tippy toes if that one was completed. Second and ten, Stafford again. And some room to roam now. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. A nice pick up there, 10 yards, and it'll move the sticks. <laughs> on first down at Stafford. Caught on the right side by Jones. And he is out of bounds, just a yard or two shy of the 30. 17 more yards on that one as they keep the drive rolling. Hard to believe his first catch of the game defensively. They bottled him up. That's why they're well on their way to victory. Put your best cover guy on him and then change the coverages behind him throughout the game. Brackets, double, zone, man, you name it. Make sure he gets a lot of angles. and 10 Stafford and it's incomplete took a shot couldn't connect he was trying to get it to his tight end Michael Roberts there and that'll bring up second down another wayward pass you know things started out poorly in this game and to be frank they just really haven't gotten much better and all that does is embolden a secondary they feel good about what's going on and they just play better and better Back to the air, Stafford on second down. And he's going to be out of bounds down inside the 20 at the 15. They give him 17 yards that time as that'll move the chains. Clock management definitely critical here if they want to get back in this game. Absolutely agreed. They have to up the tempo in this case, down a couple of scores. Want to make sure they have a chance to win this ball game. And here comes play number six on this drive. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. His throw incomplete. That one didn't quite make it to the target, but that's not always a function 
of the strength of the arm of the quarterback, is it? Sometimes there's just too much pressure there. In any case, the ball doesn't arrive. Second down following the incompletion. To throw again. Stafford, and his throw is incomplete. And it is true. You can draft the fastest. You can draft the most athletic guys. But if they don't know the art of positioning, sometimes it's all for naught. In this case, in the right spot, help force the incompletion. Yeah, but had his hands on it for a second. Would have been a tough catch, though. Falls incomplete. This offense was on the move. Now two straight incompletions have them looking at third and ten. False start's going to push him back, but these days, how hard must it be to be an offensive lineman? It's very hard, Brandon. You've got defensive linemen flinching, trying to draw you offside. You've got the loud crowds, and there are just so many super athletic players on defense now that you have to deal with each week. But through it all, these guys just sit in there for four quarters and slug it out. Ninth play of the drive now on third and a country mile. To the air again, Stafford. And he bats it away, and it falls down incomplete. Got to be wary of throwing an interception here because the defense knows they're going to get tested deep. That's why they're going to put a couple of extra guys back there to try and prevent that. Yeah, late in the fourth quarter here, trying to preserve the lead. Boy, not deterred from those first two failed attempts. They're going to go a third time here on fourth down. They snap it to Stafford. And that is caught. Touchdown, Detroit. I'm not sure win-win is the proper term here, but it certainly felt like it. They got the touchdown they needed. But if I'm on the defensive side of the ball, okay, you got the touchdown, but it sure took you a long time. Yeah, because offensively, though, you're probably hoping for a one-to-five play drive. That one ate up a little more time than they were hoping. You're exactly right, and if you have that one-to-five play drive, you actually build up momentum and even more hope. When they had to slog their way downfield, they got the touchdown, but it's almost like, ah. Uh, yeah. Yeah, you know. Doesn't you gotta, feel right. Exactly. <laughs> It is true, the lead cut to 10, 23-13. A 10-play drive that time, and the end result, a Detroit touchdown. So two scores down, time definitely not an ally, but here comes the onside kick. And this is going to be taken in by the Bears, and it appears they're going to win this game. They knew they needed a miracle. They had to have that onside kick. They didn't get it. Well, as we knew, even before they put the, the toe to the leather on that one, their chances of getting that done, slim and none. And I do believe we saw Slip just leave the door, didn't we? We did indeed. I think we're down to none. And now Chicago getting ready to go as they take the field. And last time they were able to churn some clock. They got the field goal added onto their lead. But that was a drive that was so long, it should have ended in a touchdown. You know that's how they felt. And we'll both be headed to the airport after the game. But we probably should go to the post-game press conference because <laughs> someone's going to ask the head coach about this drive. And he's going to profess that he was happy to get points. But and we wasn't? know that's not true. <laughs> yeah. Okay, yeah. after this type of a drive, not getting a touchdown, a huge disappointment. Down to a knee here. The defense still with a couple of timeouts. We'll see if they want to use them. And we're going to get another timeout called by the Lions. That'll leave them with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play.
The D can only stop it one more time as they take the knee. And now we're going to get a timeout here called by the defense. It'll be their third and final timeout, so as they talk things over, we'll step aside. The defense, they got a little bit of a breather. Now they're back and set as we resume play. The win for the Bears just around the corner. They go down to a knee. So where'd all that running room that he had in the first half go? Because it looks like it's drying up a little bit here. Someone made some adjustments, it appears, at least on this drive. Here's Pat O'Donnell now. He's been terrific so far. A road win in the National Football League. Charles, you never take that for granted no matter who you're playing, no matter where you're playing. You take it and you run with it. <laughs> and you know you primed the pump all week in your own home facility. No one thinks we can do this. Only people who believe are right here in this room. And then you go on the road, band together, and get it done. So that'll do it for us, for Charles Davis and all our crew. I'm Brandon Gaughan. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. With that, we say good night from Detroit.